Hello, welcome in the preview of Unity 2D Colors, where you are going to create a survival game from the scratch. My name is Philip, and I am the instructor of this course. Let me start with a practical preview of the game you are going to work on, and then I will talk about the requirements for this course. Let's play this game. The first screen you will see will be the menu scene where I have uh, options to choose from, start option, options and the exit. When I will click on the start, this will lead me to the hero choice menu where I can choose from two heroes. I can choose Knight Blonde or Knight Armored. I will decide for the Knight Blonde and then I will show you Knight Armored. As soon as I will click on the Knight Blonde, this will lead me to the game view and I will get control over my player Knight Blonde. I can move in the map, I can collect the coins. The coins are increasing my level. You can see the experience bar on the bottom side. When I will collect the coin, this will increase the experience. And as I will reach the full bar, this will increase the level you can see on the top right side. There are the enemies following, uh, following the player. The first enemy is the skeleton enemy. The other enemies are bad enemies. And the last wave is the golem uh, enemies. The, all of these waves are very easily configurable, so we can we can uh, decide to, to have a different order of the enemies. We can we can create a different uh, interval, how they will be spawning and uh, and so on. Uh, the player has two abilities, the melee attack ability, the lightning ball ab ability, and also one active ability you can see on the right side, which is this evade ability. When I will press, press the F key on the keyboard, this will perform this evade ability. It's a different animation also and will increase the speed of the player. The main point of this game is to survive as long as possible, to defeat as many enemies because this, they are increasing the score. As I will lose all of my health, the game will be lost and this will display the score, how many enemies I have defeated and what is the overall score of the game. The game is uh, replayable infinite, infinite times, so I can quit the game and I can start over and I can try to beat the score. When I will click here the quit button, this will lead me back to the menu. I can click here start and then I can choose the different hero. Let's say that armored and I can try to play the game again. The other features that are in the game are infinite map. I can move as far as I want into the map. This will, uh, the map will be repeating, the map will be repeating itself. The other feature is also the sound system. I will try to activate the sound system so you can also hear that each ability also performing uh, the sound. Now let's talk about the two most important systems you will work on in this course. The first system is the state machine system, which is the AI of the enemies. Every enemy has its own state and we have a states for the bat, for the golem and for the skeleton. I will show you the golem states. For example, we have a two states, golem state one and the golem state two where every state has a different actions and the actions are the behavior behaviors of the enemy. So Golem has the behavior to follow the player, you can see in the action and also flip in the player direction. There is a conditioning state, when the, uh, when the Golem will lose all of the health, then the state will transit to the, the new state and in the new state, in this case Golem state 2, there are two actions, play that animation, so that, that animation is played and also the enemy will dro drop loot. That's the state machine. The other system is the uh, ability system where the abilities are created as the scriptable object. Also state machine is created with the help of the scriptable object and we'll be using scriptable objects a lot in this course because with the scriptable object we can uh, create a reusable systems. And ab abilities, we have a couple of abilities for the player such as evade ability, lightning bolt and melee attack where each ability is a scriptable object with a configuration you can see here on the, on the right side. As well with the set machine, this, this is very configurable. You can create a new ab abilities uh, very, very, very easily. So that's uh, that's are the main features. There are also many, many other features that are covered in the course, but I don't have time to show you this in the preview. Code-wise, we'll be coding a lot. You can see the entire script of uh, script folder packed by the folder as full of the code you will be coding throughout uh, throughout this course. All right, so. This is the game you are you are going to you are going to work on. Now let's talk about the requirements for this course. Uh, this course is not suitable for the beginner developers. They just they are just starting with the programming. You should have already base knowledge of the of the Unity as, and the C sharp programming uh, language because I will be not explaining very 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 basic. So. The base knowledge of the Unity and the C Sharp is required. If you still want to watch the course and you don't have that much experience, of course, you can still watch it. There is uh, nothing to stop you. 
But if you have any questions, I'm always very responsive in the in the Q&A Q &A section. That's gonna be from the preview of the game, from the requirements. I hope you like the game you are going to work on and you are going to build. And uh, I hope to see you around. Cheers.